This week on The Inner Circle, we have Overdose, who are kind of famous for blunt smoking. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to put them on the radio show with the DA of Orange County, along with a porn star? Enjoy. He's a, a first-year prosecutor in my office. He's doing a great job, and he's from your neighborhood. He's so irrelevant. It, it, Excuse me. Really, really you used really to tell on people when you were a kid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, people think I'm oh, crazy shit. when I say, like, personalities. Yeah, you know, I mean, like... The world spin. But, but, yeah. but, but, but you know what's person interesting about what Kent said? Is, yeah. like, there's this, a whole culture of not snitching, right? Yeah. There's this whole culture of not being snitched, not being, you know, and, and that's that's just the worst thing possible. And so you know people what? Are, that yeah. happens with... You know everybody, and I and I think. But I don't think you're a snitch. No, you you I, want other people to be yes, snitches. Yeah. So Susan, what? So my thought is that growing up, like there was was there some injustice either in your family or something that you couldn't heal or cure? Yes, I she smiled. Yes. Yes. What was it? Mm, too personal. Here, did you ever get resolution on it? Oh, well, that's. I think I. You know, do you remember like Highlander? He goes yeah. around like killing. You cut animals. off all their heads. I cut off everyone's head because you metaphorically. Know, that's why. That's why you're a ballbuster. Listen, my family moved here when I was 10. My older sister was 17. My older brother was 14. I was 10. I had a 6-year-old and a 5-year-old. And we came here with nothing. We spoke uh, no English. And, you know, I, I feel like America has given me so much. And I owe this. I mean, I feel like if you're an American citizen, you won the lotto. Yeah, okay. but you know what? But they're different Americans. That's what I'm saying. Like, See, you came from out here, so they're giving you love. Let, let me tell you. Let me tell I, I you. actually disagree. <laughs> There's only one America which has great opportunities for everybody. But really let, let me just. Oh, yeah, so true. Someone else, someone else, I want to hear someone else's perspective on it. It's not true. It's not Kent, true. Not true. And I'll tell you, Kent, tell me, tell me your thought. She was moved here, she said, at 10, and she got here exactly. with a different mentality. Exactly. As opposed to different people that I grew up around who were cultivated under a different type of mentality. To where they've been here for decades. Been here. And the only thing that they've seen is death, murder. Or the people that are supposed to help them, policemen, murder. And DAs help put people in prison who are their families. That's a different type of reality to a different American. Something that I can kind of relate to. America is an amazing country. I'm not trying to we say this. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to say, like, Hell no, you can't send me this. it is no a different way. perspective. Okay. Like, I, came, I grew up in a country where health care is free for all. And now I just got a bill for a thousand dollars to sit in a hospital room for twenty minutes. I had a seizure. Like, what the hell? I had a seizure and what I was the... in the hospital for an hour and I had to pay two thousand dollars. No way. What, what, what the, you have a seizure that, for? That doesn't even make any sense. Staying in a studio trying to make sure my family can get sense. out of the fucking hood. Where we have drive-by still, and I'm flying to Sony. Okay.